Let's get it started. I love this one to start. You guys know that already. Cat cow. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And then we're going to tuck the chin and then we're going to round our back. And then from here, look up, drop the chest to the floor. And that is one rep. We are going to do 10 reps total. So this is one rep. And I want to see 10. I'll see you guys in 10 reps. Ten reps, and now we're going to go into our second stretch. It's a T-spine mobilization, T-spine extension on a bench. So you need either like a workout bench, you could use a couch, basically anything that's around hip level. And I have a golf shaft. You can use anything. You also don't even need one. You can also just put your hands like this on the table. I'm going to use this just because I have it. And this is going to be my bench for today. Take a grip that's about shoulder width here and don't take your hands off of the stick. Again, if you don't have it, you can either just do this, pretend you have one, or you can put your hands together. We'll go to the end of the table. Our knees are under our hips and then we'll place our elbows onto the table or onto the bench. And then from here, all you're going to do is drop your hips back and then bend your elbows, almost like you're doing a bicep curl. Then drop the chest to the ground Nice little pops and crackles right there. And then reset, good for the T-spine. We're gonna hit 10 reps total, see you guys in 10 reps. Oh yeah, if you don't have it, I'll show it to you without the stick here. And then hands gonna be together and then just go ahead and then drop the chest to the ground. Okay, so if you don't have any type of stick, you can do it that way. Right, 10 reps, T-spine extension on bench, that's what the video is titled. And now we're gonna do something for T-spine rotation. We're gonna do open book. We'll lay on the ground here. I'm gonna be facing away from you guys for a second, but both knees above the hip. So don't bring the legs down here. I want those knees hip level here. If you have a pillow, recommend putting a pillow down. And then from here, one arm will come right on top of those legs other arm out in front and then rotate towards the ground. We're gonna do a one minute hold here. And if it starts to get a little too intense, say you're about 20 seconds in, it's just too much of a stretch, you can kind of ease out of it. Also, if you start getting some tingling in the fingers, just bring your hand onto your belly or chest. See you guys in one minute on each side. So two. One minute each side open book just to be aware of something sometimes you'll be tighter on one side for me rotating to the left is a little tighter but it's not a problem a lot of people have one side that's a little bit more limited than the other so it's really good to be aware of that so maybe if you want you could do maybe 30 more seconds on that side that's a little bit worse but play around with that and now the last thing is going to be the world's greatest stretch and I'm gonna start by standing up And then you'll take a big step out, drop the inside elbow down towards the ground. You'll rotate up towards the sky and then we'll drop our hand to the floor on the other side of the foot and then just straighten out here, working the hamstring so we get good hip flexor on the first part. Then we rotate up towards the sky, getting some good thoracic rotation. Then we drop it back for the hamstring. I wanna see five reps on each side. World's greatest stretch. My hamstrings felt so good on that one. Now, as always, we're gonna finish up with a core exercise. We are going to hit just a basic plank. If you're feeling like you need a little bit more work, I'm gonna have you do instead of the normal plank like this. Well, first of all, this is what the most of us are going to do, or the majority. If this is too easy, I'll have you do the one where you reach out. But we're going to do 
instead of a holding time, so instead of holding it for like a minute, we're gonna concentrate on our breathing. So we're gonna be down there, take a big breath in through the nose, fill up the belly, and then exhale. I want you to do that very slow, and we're gonna do 15 breaths. So not a time, breaths, so go down, That would be one. Good plank position would be elbows again under the shoulders. And then squeeze the quads, squeeze the abs, squeeze the glutes, and then hold this position and breathe. So I'll see you guys in 15 breaths. Thank 15 breaths, we are done. That is it.